Hey guys, girls, this is Alan for DJS Mobiles bringing you an unboxing and hands on with the Motorola Charm. So, the Charm we have for review um, didn't actually come in the standard retail packaging, but it was in a bulk packaging. So, what we have here is the bronze Motorola Charm. Um, it's also available in uh, purple, also called Cabinet. Um, the device is fairly lightweight and mostly made up of plastics. The soft touch coating around the device makes it easy to hold and keeps away unwanted debris. The Motorola Charm was made available um, in the US through T-Mobile and can now be purchased on Amazon or eBay for around um, let's say $130. Uh, before we take a look at the device, let's just quickly go through what's in the box. So this is the device itself. Other than that, we have the back panel, a charger, battery, and well, the hands-free kit. So let's just get the box out of the way. Now with the box out of the way, let's just take a look at the device itself. Uh, the device has a full portrait QWERTY keyboard, menu, home and back buttons, all touch sensitive. Uh, the 2.8 inch capacitive touch screen display with a QVGA resolution. There's a earpiece on top, the earpiece on top. And on the top, you'll find the on off or the lock button along with 3.5 millimeter connector for 3.5 millimeter headphones. Um, on this side, there's basically nothing. On the bottom, you will find the lanyard eyelet as well as the microphone. On the left, you have the volume rocker as well as the micro USB port, which doubles as your charger. On the back, you have the 3 megapixel camera as well as the touchpad. So let's just get this set up. I have with me a 4GB card. So that goes here. And the SIM card. A non-local SIM uh, from Sri Lanka. So this is an unlocked phone, so it should work when we switch it on. Then I have the battery, which is still in its package. Let's get it out. There we go, get rid of the packaging, put that in. And uh, the back panel, because you know, it just snaps on quite easily. The removal is actually, you just pull it from here. Um, so let's just power it up and see. Powering the device up. There you go, you see the Motorola sign. Uh, so let's just talk a bit about this. The charm was originally released with the Google's Android 2.1 and uh, now it's updated to 2.2. Uh, the most recent firmware update was uh, from T-Mobile uh, with the Moto Blur interface. Uh, the bootloader is actually locked so uh, any other upgrades are not possible at the moment and Motorola has not announced any, has actually declined uh, to upgrade it. Um, the device is powered by a 600 megahertz processor which generally offers a smooth experience but can cause some lagging during intensive tasks. The messaging app allows typing using the QWERTY keyboard or an on-screen alternate. Due to the small screen, I think it's better to use the QWERTY keyboard, which is quite nice. The buttons have a good feel. Uh, they are slightly raised, if you can see, uh, all bumped up. So, And it's quite easy, even with my big fingers, fingers to, to type a message on this. Um, it has a web browser, uh, which we'll talk about later. Uh, the music player... Uh, uh, is what you would find on any standard uh, Android device. Uh, there you have the video player. Let's talk a bit about the camera while we still wait for this to start up. 
So the camera is a 3 megapixel camera, uh, except that it doesn't have a flash and it can be a little hard to use it in uh, bad light situations. I will demonstrate it later. Um, the qual quality of the charm, well, from what I hear, uh, it's supposed to be quite good, but the speakerphone is not supposed to be that great. Oh, I can feel it starting up. There you go. The screen came up. So it's the first time. So there you see the um, uh, registration process for the Moto player. So let's just quickly go through that. Start. It checks for data connectivity. And I don't want international data roaming. So no. Let's see. I will probably have to get on the Wi-Fi system. There you go. Set up Wi-Fi. Set up Wi-Fi. So yep I had to switch on the Wi-Fi network for the first time there you go uh, skip so in trying to be helpful it kind of makes a mess out of it uh, like Motorola phones but once you start up it's supposed to be quite good so let's just enter the network there you go you have the network Wi-Fi signal connected here if you can see it so let's get on to the next um, since I have a multiplayer account I'll just use that it asks for the email address so I will just enter that so it's logging into multiplayer account mm. so let's just get on to our demonstration which we will get into in a bit so it has all the location services, get rid of that, I don't want to be, I don't want to find out where I am right now. So, so it comes with the first uh, instructional video, just showing, showing how it's going to work, but I just skipped it. So since I have already, um, I already have a Motoblur account, I have kind of set it up, so all the specifics are remembered. So you have the basic home screen, good response on the screen. Um, you have the player, call function, nice keyboard. Uh, so let's just check the home screen. So you have your basic uh, stuff here. Mm. Let's just get to the browser and see how it works. So let's go to our home site. Mm. Okay, let's see. There we go, we are loading our site. And it's the built-in browser. You can install Opera or anything you like on this. It's Android. So while we wait for this to load, the Wi-Fi connection is pretty poor from where I am. And as you can see, it's multi-touch. You, you can see it jump when I try to zoom in or zoom out. You can scroll. Good response, as you see. Just flip it down a bit. Uh, let's just check the camera. So this has a dedicated camera button here, uh, which when we press, it just starts up. Takes a little while for the camera to load right now. Um, let's just take a pic quick picture of those. So, yeah. So as you can see, all pictures, not the best quality, especially in uh, non-natural lighting, but the interface is quite fast. So anyway, let's just conclude this uh, demonstration. So this is Alan signing off for DJ's Mobiles with a review for the Motorola charm.